Janet and I love strawberry season. Uh, we stop at produce stands all over the south and we'll get them. Uh, occasionally we'll go and do that pick your own thing. I don't care much for that. There's this one stand that we stop at on the way back and forth to Myrtle Beach. I've always had the question uh, how they built it and Janet's always wanted to know why they built it. So we thought we'd stop and ask. got to have uh, something unique to stop people, you know, at 65 miles an hour. I said, you are crazy. Do you know how much that would cost? So it was a Sunday afternoon. We laid around on the couch, and I jumped up. She said, what is it? I said, I have got it figured out. ice cream and the produce stand has been here six years. Mm. I used to retail all my strawberries off the back of a truck yeah. at the end of the highway. Now, did, did people, when they saw you building the strawberry, think you're crazy like Noah? Or well, did... I, I didn't let anybody know what I was building until they rode by and we painted it red that day. Then they all figured it out. <laughs> well, it's a pretty creative thing to think of is just to build a strawberry. Well, I think. my wife was uh, sitting around one day and she said, you need to build your ice cream shop to be different from everybody else is called the roads full of ice cream shops. The farm is behind us probably five or six hundred yards. Uh, how long have you been farming? Well, this is my 14th year. What, what have you started always... raising strawberries 14 years ago. Uh, just something I wanted to start. My mother was a principal. My father was an electrician. The berries grow more than just strawberries. They grow potatoes, corn, tomatoes, and much more. Probably about three or four weeks away gathering any and you can see what's on here you see the little potatoes coming and a lot of people like these just to fry but uh we need them a little bit bigger than that they're even bringing fancy new strawberries to the carolinas this is a berry that i'm supposed to start picking in the summertime the heat of the summer the berries that we looked at earlier hot weather is the downfall to those when it gets hot they deteriorate they can't bloom and this is called a day neutral. This berry is supposed to put off in the heat of the summer. Albion. Albion. It's a it's a it's a strawberry that's becoming very popular in California. I'll taste that. It's fine. It's got like a pineapple taste to it. Mm -hmm. You taste it? Citrusy. Yeah, real citrusy. Well, we enjoyed seeing the farm and where they grew the strawberries, potatoes, corn, tomatoes, and more, but we had some more questions about the big giant strawberry on the side of the road. It's, um, it's 24 foot tall. Okay. What's it made of? It's made out of, it's octagon on the inside, it's eight sided, sheetrock inside. We constructed another wall which would be the, the strawberry shape. It's made out of uh, polyurethane foam, similar to the little cans of aerosol that you buy at Lowe's to fill in a crack you know, in, in a wall or under the cabinets or something. So do you, did you put that foam on there and just mold it? Well, we sprayed it. I had it, I had it done, and uh, when they sprayed it, they molded it like I wanted it. Uh, how long did it take you to build all of that? It went pretty quick. We started in fall and opened up in the spring of the next year, so about five to six months. Do you get a lot of questions about it when people come in? Oh, yeah, wanting to know what it is, why did we build it, and, uh, you know, I always tell everybody my last name's Barry. I've been a strawberry farmer for 14, 15 years, and uh, it's my wife's idea. I always have to give her a plug. Amy. Amy. Amy's idea, and um, so it just fits. It's just, like, just about like it was meant to be. Um, if it's slow enough, I will ask everybody, you know, where are you from? You've been at the beach? Because 95% of my traffic is going to Myrtle Beach. If you live north of me, as far as Canada, New York, <laughs> Winston-Salem, Greensburg, North Carolina, that's that's my traffic. Kelly. I'm JC. You're from Pittsburgh? Yes. yes sir. And where are you coming from? Uh, we stayed in West Virginia overnight and we're heading to Myrtle Beach. What do you think of the big berry? <laughs> Love, I it. Love it. <laughs> now, where did you come from? Roanoke. Roanoke? Where are you from? You go first. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Roanoke. Ro Youngstown, Ohio. Oh my. Are you all traveling together? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, every time you come, you stop at the strawberry? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. All of you ladies get together and go to Myrtle Beach together once a year. We'll all we'll be, be alive at the end of the week. <laughs> but we don't know that that's going to happen. We sold 8,000 gallons of strawberries last year. 
And what's your favorite berry? Favorite berry? <laughs> <laughs> a cool strawberry. Now, do y'all have a name like bikers do? You know? No. <laughs> you know, I want people to feel at home when they come. We've got a church pew that uh, people sit on. we got benches and chairs and uh, I don't know how many lies have been told on the church pew. Now what if your, if your last name had been Banana? <laughs> <laughs> Did you build that? I probably wouldn't have built anything. <laughs>